What's up guys? Derek here, aka your hometown anomaly, coming back at Shaw with another video. And today we got another email, and this email is from my friend Heather. And the title of this email is Being Bullied Severely. You know goes. Hey, my name is Heather. I'm 17. I'm from the US, New York to be exact. A couple of years ago, I was bit by a German Shepherd. I had to have emergency surgery, and now I permanently have a scar on my face. Ever since I got bit, I've been tortured over the fact I have a scar on my face. A girl used to talk about my size, too. I'm young. I weigh 300 pounds. She called me fat, ugly, stupid, a whore, and 800 other things. Then she started saying that the dog bit my face because I was so ugly, and the dog should have continued biting my face to help me look better. It really sucked. Then other people continued talking about my scar and how stupid I was to even get close to that dog. I would never expect people to be so hurtful. To this day, people still continue to make fun of me every day. I can't leave the house or go to a different school without having someone giving me weird looks or asking me what happened. Since I'm bigger, my confidence is of course down the drain. I don't know how I'm supposed to not believe them. How am I supposed to cope with these people judging me constantly? It just hurts. Thank you so much. And then she sent a picture and okay, I'm assuming that's after you got bit and this is before your corrective surgery and wow. Wow. Um Jesus Christ, like that is horrible. I'm so sorry that anybody would have to go through that, but for the fact that you overcame and you did have your corrective surgery and like you are still physically able to just do anything that you were able to do before you got bit by this dog is just amazing and that's just a victory that you should congratulate yourself for every day and for the people that are bullying you like one thing you have to learn uh, one of my favorite quotes is that hating bitches ain't happy and happy bitches ain't hated and just to kind of elaborate on that just a little bit People that are satisfied with their life, people that are content, people that are fulfilled in themselves don't have the time, the energy, the patience, they don't have the drive or any reason to bring anyone else down. Like, so anyone that is a bully is clearly unsatisfied with their life, like they, they're they not getting enough attention at home, they're not getting fucked enough as adults, it's just whatever, you know what I mean? And don't let the negativity and the negative people bring you down and... I know that might be hard to grasp, but a couple ways that you could better cope with being bullied or even dealing with your bullies is one, embrace your, your the, the scar on your face. It, it's there, it's going to be a permanent scar, and there's nothing you can do about it, and you just can't allow people that kind of power over you. You know, it's just, you, you just turn on your favorite song, go in the bathroom, look in the mirror, and look in the mirror and tell yourself, 10 things that you love about yourself and stand into the mirror until you feel more comfortable with yourself and I know that's very hard I, I have long ugly looks in the mirror all the time and it's not easy but just do this every day just look in the mirror and say hey you Heather what Heather Heather what it Heather what why do I feel this way Heather you are beautiful you're gorgeous all 300 pounds of you all you, the, Heather the, the stupid stupid Heather is beautiful Whore Heather is beautiful. Uh, just, just whatever. You know, like Scarface Heather, you are beautiful. Like, just look in the mirror and just have this conversation, have this monologue with yourself daily until it just becomes second nature and you honestly do feel this way about yourself. Because everybody's beautiful in their own ways. Like, for, you know, what you lack in, you know, an un, you know, blemished face or, you know, an unscarred face, you make up for in other things like you just seem like the sweetest fucking person ever from this email and just embrace the things that you do have and like the scar that's on your face just embrace it that's the first way to just cope with being bullied the second way to address being bullied is to call people out on their shit or to put these bullies in their place and that sounds very confrontational and you don't seem like the type of person that would be okay with that but schoolyard example um, when the, the kid that got picked on all year finally has enough and stands up to the bully and like, they get into a fight and like the, the kid beats the bully's ass like the bully never says shit to that kid again 
And I'm not condoning physical violence. I'm not saying you're know, going like you know like choke slam this bitch or like Batista bomb this bitch through like the cafeteria table. Like, don't do that. But just know that it's okay to put people in their place. Like if people are gonna say nasty things to you, like you have every every right in the world to defend yourself verbally. And if it ever phys like physically escalated into something worse, then you have all rights to defend yourself physically. And you just don't bend over backwards and let these people just ruin your life and you know just make you feel less lesser than a human than what you are. And the next time you know she comes up to you and says, "Hey, you know, nice scar on your face, uh, you know, uh, nice scar, Scarface, or you know, hey, Joker, or, you know, just whatever that these people would say to you, just you just immediately stop them in their fucking place and be like, yo." What the fuck is your problem, you fucking cunt ass bitch? Who are you to judge me? Unless you are perfect, unless you are without sin, you have no room to cast that stone. You have no room to judge me. I suggest you get the fuck off your pedestal before you have a really fucked up day. And I guarantee if you say something to them along those lines, this bitch probably will never say another word to you about the scar on your face. Um, another way is just... Comedians do it all the time. They... They take their pain and they, they turn it into humor. They turn it into comedy. And, you know, if... Because not everyone that's going to ask you about your... Because people, people are going to ask forever. You know, anything that's just unique to us or something that's just different or something that is an anomaly to us and what we identify our, like our, ourselves as, people are going to constantly ask us about it until the day we die. And that's just the reality of the world that we live in. And not everyone's going to ask to be, you know... Malicious. Not everybody's gonna ask to be, you know, nasty to you. Know, people might just ask out of curiosity. You know, someone might come up and ask, say, "Hey, you know, um, I, I'm not trying to upset you, but I'm just, you know, curious. You know, how did you get the scar on your face?" And you know, you can say whatever you want to them. You could say, "Oh, you know, this is uh, this the the new um." This is my post Halloween contour. This is like you know my early uh, my early Joker contour. You know this is like oh this is a new fad. Like girl, you ain't know. Like you know everybody's everybody's contouring the, the scar on, on their face. You know what I mean? you can you can do whatever you want with it, uh, just whatever makes you comfortable. But you know it's okay to like laugh at yourself. And I mean me like I, I'm an overweight you know <laughs> overweight black man in America. You know what I mean? And I'm and I'm short too. You know, I'm I'm five foot seven, and when I go out, you know, if I if I go out to a bar, you know, to like you know, hang out with friends or like you know like talk to some women or something, you know, if I talk to some, like a girl that's like six foot tall, it's not uncommon for them to come up to me and say, hey, you know, uh, you're kind of short, like uh, you're like you know I don't talk to midgets, and it's just you know you have to like make fun at yourself, you know, if someone looks at me at a bar, it's like oh you know hey well I don't talk to midgets, you know, or I don't date midgets, and I'm like. Hmm, that's interesting, you know, because from the way I'm looking at it is I'm the perfect height and motor broke the shit out of you right now. And, you know, I just turn that negative into a positive, you know, just I, I turn it into a way of like self amusement for myself. And I don't have a scar on my face, you know, I didn't get bit by a German Shepherd, so I, I can't. <sighs> I can't empathize with you on that note, and I, I don't know like anything that you could say just witty right off of the top of your your head. But you know, you can just have that long look in the mirror, and you can just love yourself. You know, just another thing you can do is you could just have that really uncomfortable, long, ugly look in the mirror, and go lock yourself in the bathroom, turn the light on, turn your favorite song on, and just stare at yourself in the mirror. And tell yourself multiple things that you love about yourself. You know, say, you know, stupid Heather is looking fucking great today. Or, um, Scarface Heather is looking bomb.com. You know, look in the mirror and say, you know, oh, whore Heather can take you, 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 you man today. Whore, whore Heather can take your nigga today. You know, ooh, like, damn, this, the color of this shirt makes me look good as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, oh, damn, yeah, I like when I curl my hair like this. Or, oh, you know, like, you know, these wing tips, you know, I'm about to fly away and you'll steal your man. You know what I mean? Just have that long look in your mirror and it can be serious or it can be silly. And just do this every day until you believe the things that you're telling yourself because... Your self-worth is much more valuable than anyone's opinion of you. These people are not, people are not feeding you. They are not, they're not feeding you. They're not financing you. They're not fucking you. You know what I mean? So their opinions really don't matter. And I know it is something that has been mortifying for you for most of your adolescent 
life now, and I understand. It, I could never put myself in your position to understand what that feels like to be harassed and bullied to that degree, but it's nothing that you can't overcome. Like, you're here, you, you got to the point where you sent me this email and you're watching this video now, and just know that I have faith in you to be able to overcome this stigma. Because it's just a stigma, you know, and it's just being bullied and being like, you know, socially harassed is a very tangible, is a very real thing. But the way that it affects you is all in your head. And just keep going to the mirror, telling yourself every day that you 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 love you. Like Heather loves Heather. Like I love Heather. We love everybody watching this video is sending you positive vibes. We are rooting for you. We are on your team. And you got this shit, man. Just, you know. Embrace it, stand up for yourself, make fun at it, and love yourself. Just do those four things and just do those on a day-to-day -day basis until you learn to love your scar because it's a part of you who you are and you should love every inch of you for everything that you are and everything that you're not. You should love every perfection and imperfection, every strength and every shortcoming that you have because we have one life and we can't dwell in misery or it will be a very pitiful existence on this planet. This is where I want to end this video. Thank you Heather for this email. I hope this has helped. It le it, it only helped in 1%. I'm more than satisfied for that. If you would like for me to answer your life or relationship advice, questions, or situations, see, send me one to three emails detailing your situation and I would love to get back to you in the form of an Ask, Anom Ask an Anomaly session. My name is Dirk Durka, your hometown anomaly. I love your motherfucking faces. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another video. We out.